What will we find in today's Thursday thrillers here on the Mutual Audio Network? A few baffling mysteries? Perhaps a touch of murder? Let's find out. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance recommended. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, deep in the woods, there is a city named Grimstown, where people now live in a fairy tale existence. In this mysterious city, there is a woman who goes by the name of Scarlet Hood, and she's one real tough cookie. This time, Scarlet continues her journey to the Castle of Gothel and the Enchanted Forest. This could get weird. Presenting The Adventures of Scarlet Hood, Rapunzel and Parsley. Created and written by Tony Serechia. Go, go, easy. She broke something in my chest. Aldo, come on. We're going to need to get to the next junction. Probably not, lad. What do you mean? It means me and the squad want to speak with you. And I'm going to cheat and tear off your head. Twelve of you and three of us? I like those odds. <laughs> you don't want to surrender and make it easy? Bring it. Nice. Let's do this. <laughs> Looks like the Bear Squad's getting involved in something. Yeah. Let's head out while... Hold on. What? That guy. He looks... In the name of Gretel. Evan! Who? Her friend from the place where they found the grimoires. Ooh. A friend. He's kind of cute. And strong. We need to help them. Not a good idea. The bears will kill them. Nah. Nah. Rough them up a bit. The queen wants them alive. They are getting massacred. Let go of me. Wait. What in the pack's name is going on? I command the pack to attack the bears. The pack will not commit suicide at the leader's command. I will not stand here and let Evan die. He's only here because of me. I am sorry, Scarlet. We will not help unless a member of the pack is at risk. Fine. I'll go, and then a member of the pack will be at risk. No. Try and stop me. Don't do this, Red. Get your trotters off me, pig face. Try it, Fox, and I'll kick you in the head. Sorry about this, Scarlet. What are you doing? I feel like I've been awake for a week. So sleepy. She's out. I didn't know you could call sleep. Only on humans. She is going to be angrier than a cat in a bear trap when she comes around. We need to be in the enchanted forest by the time she wakes. Get courage. Tell him to carry her. Hey, Hambo, you gonna be a problem? No. Good. Let's get moving before she... What's this? Sir Bear, I didn't see you. <laughs> I fought tougher bar wenches than you bears. <laughs> I'm impressed, lad. <laughs> They're not bears, more like kitty cubs. <laughs> Valentine, no. Sure, hit a girl. Hey, uh, lucky we can't kill you. What are you doing, donkey? Get out of the way. Make sure we get our woe. And out of our way, or they'll end up in the dungeon with them. Take your hands off me. I'm a loyal subject of the Queen. My tribute supports you. You are an ass if you believe you matter to these lummoxes. Val, can you hear me? No, long I'm left. talking to you, Sir Bear. And I said to get out of our way. Miss Jenny. Miss Jenny, are you okay? Jenny. She's dead. The bears killed a citizen. The bears killed a citizen. This is unacceptable. Ungod. We may get out of this after all. Look, the crowd is moving towards the bears. You bumpkins need to get back or it will be more than a donkey. Heaven, help me get Valentine back to the junction. She's seriously injured. That's a lot of blood. The bears are brutes. Come on, grab her legs. A fox 
looks dressed as a farmer and a wolf carrying a sleeping shepherd girl. Curious. Yeah, well, I am, uh, my master sent me after the shepherd girl and I found her here in town. When she found out the despicable evil, I don't even like to say her name, but when she learned the devil incarnate returned, the shepherd girl was taken with the vapors. Lucky for me, this kind wolf, just doing my part, agreed to carry her back to our farm on the outskirts of town. Vapors, huh? Yeah. Her mind is far more fragile than her sturdy body would lead you to suppose. (laughs) Sturdy, more like stout. Hmm, Good thing Scarlet can't hear any of this. Her bonnet is slipping. Here, let me... uh, mm, You people move along. I'm needed to the bandstand. Ah! You can't kill citizens. Uh, wrong, kitty. We can do whatever we want. Well, it's your only to the queen. You can't beat us all. Hang on, Val. We'll get you into the tunnels. Sing a little song. You'll be as good as new. A song isn't... Okay, I'm the baton. Easy. Easy. Hey, the turncoats are getting away! Evan, run! Here, take her! I'll hold them off. Are you daft? You can't hold off the entire squad by yourself. Go! Enchanted or not, I can't tell if you're a crazy man or a good man. Get down. I'll stay on the hatch long enough for you to get away. Uh, in the name of the queen. I got your queen right here. Gretel, what died in my mouth? Son of a wicked witch. Rats! Beastly creatures, get off! No, 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 no! Not my face! Ew! It's licking my cheek! I hate outside. My hands and legs are tied. Who devised this insidious torture? Good morning. Well, good evening. I thought I pushed too far. Get these rats off me! Not rats, silly. They're harmless little mice. They will be scrambled little mice when I'm finished with them. Stop. Don't hurt them. Come on back to your burrows. Don't let the mean redhead scare you. Scare them? My heart is pounding like a steam hammer in the back of my eyes for Gretel's sake. Where is Whitney? Where is the pack? Why am I tied up? Do you feel rested? Do I feel rested? Yeah. For the first time in longer than I can remember. You are welcome. You knocked me out. I remember now. Evan needs my help. Untie me. Sorry, Scarlet. Two days have passed. When I get my hands around your furry little neck. And that's why you're bound. You need to listen. I need to get to Evan. He's only in this asylum because of me. Where is Whitney? Pork boy is back at the camp with the wolves. None of them dared venture this far into the forest. Courage got you close, then I had to drag you the rest of the way. Lucky for you, Whitney gave me your regular clothes. And how do you suppose I put them on while my hands are tied behind my back? In a minute. I need to know you will not go mad as a weaver when I untie you. (laughs) Ha! You pays the price, you takes your chance. You are in the enchanted forest of Queen Gothel. We are close to the house of her landkeepers and in the shadow of her castle. Fantastic! Untie me and let's get the show on the road. Your friend, the handsome one. The bears captured him and most likely put him in the queen's dungeon. And that's on all of you. I could have saved him. Untie me! No. Tell me this, Scarlet. Do you want to save the world or whatever by finding those books? Or would you throw it all away to save one human? Why do you assume I couldn't do both? Untie me! (sighs) You're not a deity. You're not even a witch. How do you suppose you take on the bears, rescue the fair-haired boy, and save the world? Even the wolves are smart enough not to fight a sloth of bears untie me. No. You won't behave, and you won't listen. You're reckless, and you'll end up with your head on Gothel's wall as a conversation piece. Why do you care? You don't want to be human again. Don't I? 
Maybe you're not so smart after all. Maybe there is someone else. Maybe I'm tired of being a fox. You know what? I don't care. No, there is someone else, isn't there? The same little mouse Alpha is looking for. That's who you were arguing about that night in the woods, wasn't it? You know where she is, but you're not telling him. Why? This is the Enchanted Forest. Right, so you said. And a safe place for many creatures whom the predators would eat without a second's reflection. And what? You're their den mother? I enjoy being a fox. I'm clever, fast, and surprise, I enjoy the taste of raw carrion. Point? Not everyone loves the change. The swine was right. Prey don't want to be prey. Can you change things back? No. Then what is the point of all this? The guy I'm getting the books for, Kim. Did he say he would? I'm certain he will. You get me to the people who can get me into the castle. Thanks to you and the fearless wolves, I have to save Evan and get the books now, all while avoiding Gothel and her minions. If we didn't stop you, you'd be imprisoned with her minions. And a lot closer to the grimoires. Oh, I thought you said we were leaving in daylight. And? It's still nighttime. Nope. Sunlight doesn't pierce the tree canopy. Then why did we wait? It's worse in here at night. That darkness feels like a living thing. Dramatic much? What in Gretel's name? They say Gretel has nothing to do with the creatures who live here. When you sang, sorry, when Gothel cursed Grimstown, the abominations grew worse. I don't remember these woods being this bad. I used to travel them all the time when I was a girl going to my grandmother's house. You killed a wolf that ate your grandmother. And you don't think these woods were bad? I thought that was an isolated incident. No. The Enchanted Forest will leave you alone unless you go looking for trouble. Or harm something taking sanctuary here. Mmm, like the mice? Like the mice. How do the bears and Gothel get through? One of life's little mysteries. And the mice? For the love of everything, why are you so obsessed with mice? I'm not, but you and the Alpha are. And it's a driving factor for the two of you. And it's none of your business. That looks beautiful. Don't touch it! But it's a flower! Don't touch it! I've seen those swallow rabbits whole. But it's a flower! Yeah, in the enchanted forest! Everything in here can kill you. I hate the forest. Are we almost there? Where? The Petros. Oh, right, right. Sorry. My brain sort of switched off for a moment. Does that happen often? Why? Are you a doctor? Turn up here. Once we pass through the doorway, we'll be on the Queen's land. And their house will be a little beyond. Why is there a door in the middle of nowhere? We can walk around it. (sighs) Enchanted forest. Nothing here is what it appears. You can try to walk around the door, but no telling where you'll find yourself if you do. Fair enough. After you. Oh, no. You first. Oh, they're your friends. I I insist. You're the one with a mission. Fine. That looks like something you'd see in a temple or, or castle. I don't see anything behind the door. You're welcome to explore after you find the grimoires. And rescue Evan? Of course. Here we go. What happened? What do you mean? I didn't move. We didn't step beyond the door. But the door is behind us in a house over there. I mean, the door is gone. Enchanted forest. What you're asking is treason. A a terrible crime. Against a queen trying to save us from what you did. It wasn't me. Maybe it was, and maybe it wasn't. 
I don't know why we would help you. Scarlet is not a witch, but she is a successful thief. Why are we sharing, Francine? I heard her telling her friend she has a rope in her basket that can help her climb the tallest of turrets and towers in the castle. Is there anything you don't hear? Probably not. Another benefit of being a fox, fox ears. Is that true? Can you climb up the tallest towers? It would depend on how tall. My ropes are about 230 feet long. But I don't know how that's... That may be enough. That will risk the Queen's wrath more than letting this witch... Watch it, Farmer Brown. Um, woman into the castle. But but it's for Zinella. We made a promise. We didn't understand what we were agreeing to. We saved your life. At what cost? I'd rather have died among the parsley and Rapunzel than condemned our daughter to such a fate. You know what they're talking about, don't you? Yes. Would you like to tell me? Not my story to share. <sighs> now you're concerned about privacy. Nothing comes without a price, Red. About 12 years ago, I was pregnant. We had this house, but nothing grew close, and we had to occasionally climb the fence into the Queen's lands to find sustenance. Oh, the parsley smells wonderful, and the Rapunzel mm, is exquisite. I'll take some back to my husband and I'll be able to make a delicious salad for both he and my unborn child. We will eat well for a week. What are you doing in my garden? God sees her! Oh, I, I am so sorry, Dame Gothel. It, it's just, I am pregnant and, and we have so little food. I, I fear my baby may wither away. Pregnant? Gods, bring this baseball thief to me, that I may examine her. Uh, please, don't hurt us. Stop squirming, girl, or I'll end you both here and use your bodies as compost for my garden. Gothel lay her gnarled, ancient hands on my stomach, and I, I swear to Gretel, I felt my baby push away from her touch. A girl. She will be healthy and strong. And she will be the only child born from your wasteland. She released my belly and shook her hands as if she'd touched something unclean. I will make a guarantee. Uh, a red... can't go red tea? <sighs> A pledge, a promise, plebeians. On the child's third birthday, I will collect her and raise her in the castle as my own, and teach her the ways of magic and song spelling. You and your husband will maintain my lands, providing only the richest fruits and vegetables for my table. In return, you can keep your contemptible lives. Well, will I be able to see my daughter again? Why would I sully my child with the filth of such unrefined creatures? She will be raised as a gothel, proud and without want. Unless you'd rather I kill you both here. Decide, woman. I don't have all day, and my roses need fertilizer. On Sinella's third birthday, Gothel sent two armed guards to collect her. They wouldn't speak to us. They waited outside until we brought our only child to them. They put her in irons and took her away. The look on her face. She didn't know or understand why these people took her away. When little Sinella turned the corner at the end of the lane, 
she let out a whale. <laughs> we learn Cyanella is kept in the tower in the enchanted forest. Have you seen her? Once. Traveling Prince saw her and called to her. Cyanella came to the window and tried to warn him away. She is so beautiful, radiant. Her yellow hair shimmers in the sunlight as if it were made from golden strands. Who is the prince? It doesn't matter. Uh, see, the way you're saying that tells me it matters very much. What happened to the prince? Um, that part of the enchanted forest is the darkest. And most dangerous. There are vines that shoot poison thorns. And plants that ingest flesh. The prince climbed about halfway up the tower when something alerted the vines. And startled Cyanella. The vines shot their thorns at him. He lost his grip and fell into the maw of the plant. We heard him scream as the plant absorbed his flesh. He died because I was hungry. And you expect me to shimmy up the side of this tower and get her out? We would be in your debt forever. It wouldn't be much of a forever if I get sucked up by some man-eating plant. Well, it's the only way we will give you the key to the castle. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't risk some... I'm sorry, too. If you refuse, we will notify the guards. They will find you and drag you to the queen. Please, save our daughter. What's the problem with pork chop? He's been antsy since sundown, pacing and pacing. <laughs> Look at those fat legs. Hmm. Alpha is at the perimeter check, and I need a little... Snap. And when Alpha comes back and you're picking swine out of your teeth, then what? He'll be mad, but he'll get over it. He's too distracted with the fox and the red human to care much about one little pig. I don't trust the fox. The human is, well, human. But the fox, she's too clever and dealing from five different decks. We should eat her, too. First, probably. Now you're talking. Elf is near. Better get back to our post. Something's wrong. You're worried about those two? Huh. They'll be running this place in three months if they don't kill each other. Still, they should have sent word. I don't understand. She said you're not her pet. So, what are you? Someone who believed in her? Did she save you from a big bad wolf? Are you threatening me? <laughs> no, little piggy. If I wanted to eat you, I wouldn't chat you up first. <laughs> I smell bears. I smell nothing. The pig's olfactory senses are twice as sensitive as yours. Trust me, the bears are almost here. Courage, tracker. Wake the pack. We have company. <laughs> Look. It's the Queen's Owl. Turn the motor off, wolf boy. I'm here for the pig. He is under the pack's protection. Oh, do you want to slap them on the ground and see who is bigger? You or the Queen? What? I'm taking the pig. You can lick your wounds and curse the loss of a good meal, or you can be torn apart by the bear squad. What do you want with me? Let's say I had an interesting chat with a heartbroken troll. He said the Enchantress was running with a pig. Well, knowing your history, it wasn't hard to track you. Now, Good Wolf, I will overlook your harboring a known conspirator, but if you test me... I think we can take him. No, we can't. What's it going to be, Alpha? Fine. Take him. But this isn't over. <laughs> of course it isn't. Bears, make sure the wolves stay like good little puppies. Don't hurt them unless you have to. You knew about Sinella, didn't you? I think we need to turn up here, near a rotted oak tree. 
the mice, the farmers. You're a regular social welfare agency. Am I? No, I don't believe you are. But I don't know what you're playing at either. I am an enigma. Yeah, not so much. I don't have owls rescuing me, and I'm not a wanted woman. I'm a humble cr- uh, creature of the forest trying to m- um, make my way in the world. What's wrong? Lately, I've been feeling nothing. I'm fine. You don't sound fine. Don't make something out of nothing. Everyone, human or creature, loses their train of thought in the middle of a sentence. Or forgets the name of your cousin you haven't seen in years. Is it getting worse? Why the sudden concern for my mental health? You gotta be out of your foxing mind. How in the underworld's name am I supposed to get my rope up that high? How should I know? You're the thief. How do you rob high-rises in the before By elevator. The window was the escape route. Did you hear that? Yeah. Those vines right there, look. Look. It's like they're alive. Well, more alive than a plant should be. I don't like this. Agreed. Perhaps we can find another way into the tower. No. I'm going to turn myself into Gotham. At least then I'll be with Evan and we can figure out our own way to get the books. That sounds like the dumbest idea ever. I'm open to suggestions. Look out! Whoa! This thing is like a belt made of steel! I cannot move my arms! Whoa! That one almost got me. In my basket! I have a knife! Get it! What are you waiting for? Francine, help me! Oh my... The line is pulling me towards the tower. Where's the fox? Help! Help! That was The Adventures of Scarlet Hood. Created and written by Tony Serechia. Starring Robin Candelaria as Scarlet Hood. Also in the cast was Hannah Greenberg as Valentine. William Mask as Evan. Nathaniel Fleming as Aldo. Brian Grote as Puss in Boots. Jim Gillan as Bear. Michael Ingalls as Whitney. Janine Falk as Fox. Travis Remy as Alpha. Tristan Johnson as Courage. Gregory Sweet as Farmer Petro. Joanna Bruno as Wife Petro. Kelly Biston as Gotham. Innocencio Valderrama as Tracker. And Roy Nessel as Al Sylvester. I'm your announcer, Emma Green. Theme music by Ryan Lassard. Sound design and dialogue editing, Jay Charles. Produced and directed by Joseph C. Maguire. Financial support comes from Michael Ingalls, Kim Abbey, members of the RTP Repertory Company, and Soundly, the sound effects platform. This is a Radio Theatre Project presentation. The Mutual Audio Network presents Friday Follies. Host John Bell gathers some of the finest audio comedy out there, including past episodes of his own hilarious series, Bells in the Bat Free, and Kai and Chris Conway's side-splitting technical difficulties. Don't miss out on the laughs right here on Mutual. Better living through audio. <laughs>